Tiger coach Andy Rosberg joins us. And coach, uh, I've seen better played games, but I, I don't think I've seen a more exciting game than that one. Well, I, I would have to agree with you, Joel. Uh, the first three quarters were very embarrassing for all of Hutchinson, or should have been. The fourth quarter got pretty wild and exciting. We made some big plays. The defense got us a pick six, and then we got some fumbles, and we're, you know, we made a lot of mistakes. We had 12 guys in on the field goal, or extra point, could have won it there, but, uh, you know, you can't be more proud of the, the kids that showed us something that after three quarters, I didn't think they had in them. Talk about that fourth quarter, and it, it started, you know, really nonchalantly. I mean, you just kind of scored, oh, well, you got the goose egg off the scoreboard, but then yeah. you know, your defense, I, I thought, was the key in that fourth quarter. Well, and they, you know, they were up 28-7, and then in the fourth quarter, and then made the mistake of throwing one in the flat, and we picked it off in for a touchdown, and that kind of got the tide rolling. And then they got their daubers down a little bit and had another turnover, and then, you know, when you get... So within a score, now the noose starts tightening a little bit and it gets a little tighter. Be honest, did you think you had the? Did you think the kids had it in them? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> after halftime and after the third quarter, even, uh, you know, we didn't have any giddy up in our step. And after we scored the first one and you know got that second one, then we started playing. But the kids have to realize that they've got to play like that for four quarters. You go back home now. You got Dassel Coquito next week. Dassel. Uh, I'm going to just enjoy this one tonight, and, and but we're going to come to come to work on Monday and, and get ready for a good basketball game.